handed back some homework for you, okay? And if you ever have a check mark, one of these puppies, on an assignment from me, and you don't end up here, if you ever have a check mark on an assignment from me, that means 100% goes in my grade book, okay? So, check marks are good things. All right, on our, your assignments, all right, I expect, I put it up here for tonight, all right, it says make sure you answer slash attempt every problem always. Okay? So if you don't get the check mark and you get like 29 out of 30 or 27 out of 30, okay, these numbers will go in my grade book out of 100%. Okay, every assignment is going to be weighted exactly the same, 100%. So you'll get a, the percent grade from these. Okay? So if you do this, if you always answer and attempt every problem, you will get check marks. Okay? Is that a question? Yes, go ahead. So you're saying that if we had 27 or 29, then we, if we would have improved the grade, it would be over 100, so 29 over 100. No, 29 over 30, whatever that de uh, decimal is, is a 96.6 repeating, and I always round, I put in whole numbers. So this grade is a 97. So you'll get a 97 in the grade book for a 29 out of 30. That's still good. We can just get perfect by making sure we've got all of them, okay? If it's ever a mistake and you see something and you want to talk to me about it, please do, okay? I can only go off what I see on your paper. So, if you just forgot or a piece or I, I missed it and it is somewhere or all of that, okay? I'm happy to talk about it. I just want to make sure so that you guys are double and, double and triple checking your work at home, right? we got to practice the way we play, like tests and things, right? We want to do it well on our homework so that we can do it well on our tests. Okay? So, that's why I want you guys always, always, always to answer and attempt every problem. Even if you don't remember how to do it, you can look back, all right? Every little parenthesis tells you where to look for that type of problem. You can go back to that lesson and figure out how to do it and try, okay? So, we always, 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 you're not going to get grades on your go-do now. So, nope. I'll still put check marks at the top or pink just so that you can see that I graded it, okay? Or whatever color, purple, blue, red, etc. Again, that I will on occasion grade for accuracy, okay? Usually somewhere about once a week I'm going to grade for accuracy, all right? So, if you don't know what's coming, that means you always, 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 always need to do it to the best of our ability, okay? And on those days, you would still get the reflection if you didn't complete, but also marked down if you did complete it but got it incorrect. Okay? Any questions on that? No? Alright, so your homework, I gave you guys back three things. Your homework assignment has a grade on the top of it, your go-do now, and your homework from last night. So let's make sure our homework from last night is the top thing on our stack. And if anybody has any questions, now is the time to ask them. Any questions on lesson three homework? You had one through thirty. Any questions? If you ever want to just check your answer, if you're not sure, but you did it, and you want to make sure, because you never know if I'm grading for accuracy, if you're uncertain about any, now's the time to ask. Okay? So, any questions? Where is it? It was on that bottom of the three that I gave you back.
know that 7 times 12, which means you're taking 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7, 12 times, right? But rather than every time you do, write it out 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 12 times, it's easier to just write 7 times 12. Yeah? We like multiplication. Okay? It makes our lives easier. And we also know that we can memorize our multiplication tables. Okay? So 7 times 12 is one of those. We've got a step back in our brain. If you can't get to it right away, you can figure it out. But 7 times 12, what is it? 84. Thank you, Destiny. All right. So, again, another way to say it, 12 sevenths is 84. Okay? Is in math. You guys can kind of tuck this back, is, is sort of like an equal sign, okay? So, 7 twelfths is equals 84, all right? All right, so, the other thing we know about multiplication is it doesn't matter if we write it that way or that way. Order stays, order doesn't have to stay the same in order for our answer to stay the same. You guys know that part? Okay, that we, we can rearrange any multiplication and we're still going to get the same answer. It doesn't matter what order you do it in, all multiplication will stay the same. Okay? So, now we have to give our multiplication and answers and all that fancy words. Because we, we love fancy words, right? Portia, do you like fancy words? Alright. So, our first fancy word, what we call these two, are our factors. Okay? And we multiply two factors to get our product. Right? We have two factors and we get a product. Okay? Again, I think you guys know that. And we're all good on that. Yes? Come on. Mika? Destiny? Roche? Alright. So. First example, 4.1, we're multiplying 164 by 23. Again, I think you guys probably know how to do this, but we're just going to multiply and review real fast to make sure that we're all on the same page how to multiply. So, Portia, talk me through this one. Tell me how to multiply. What am I going to do? Okay. So, what you need to do is start with 3. 3, three times 4. Okay. Um, so, whatever you want to do.
Now to remember our placeholder, our automatic zero. We move over one. We're essentially here. You're kind of multiplied by 20. So we can take care of that zero for that 20 by putting a spot holder. Okay? So now keep going. Again, 